Hey everybody, it's Natalie and I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about getting more customers for your business. And of course, getting more customer means getting more money and making more sales. So if you're interested in that, just stick around to the end, okay? All right, everybody, my name is Natalie, if you don't know me, and I am an entrepreneur and a business owner. And my goal is to help other people start their businesses and be successful. So if you're interested in that, then just give me a follow and we'll go on this journey together okay all right so let's get straight to it first things i want you guys to know if you want to get more customers you first have to understand your customer who is it that you want to reach who is it that's going to purchase from you it's important to understand these people so you know where to find them at and how to attract them to your business Everybody's not going to purchase from you. Everybody is not a potential customer for you. So you have to understand your, your, your target customer. You want to know things like what are they interested in? What problem are you solving for them? What makes them want to buy from you? Where do they hang out? What type of groups are they in? If you understand your customer and their mind frame and their thinking, you'll be able to get more money. You'll be able to get more customers. If you want a video on how to understand your customer and how to find your target audience, which is the customers that you want to attract, comment below and I will make a video on that, okay? Let's get straight into it. The first tip I have to get more customers is to make a Google My Business page. And basically, a Google My Business page, all that is, is a listing on Google. So, first thing you need to do is just download the Google My Business app and create a profile. And then you'll have to put your information in. And then Google will send you, they want, Google will want to verify that, that you are a business. So, in order for them to verify that, they will send you a card with a code in the mail. So make sure you understand that. But Google My Business is very good. It's like a profile for your business, and it's a way for people to find you. If you ever Google a business and the address will pops up and their website and their hours of operation pops up, that's what Google My Business is. People are going to find you by Googling you. And the best thing to do to make sure that people can find you on the Google listing, you want to optimize your Google My Business listing. So you want to make sure that you have your website attached to it, your phone number, your hours of operation, so those things, it's like you build your profile up in order for you to grow. And then you want to get reviews for your business. So Google, the more you put into your Google My Business listing and adding more pictures and videos, it will optimize your listing and push you to the top of the listings. Also, get re you want to get reviews on your business. So the first thing I did, I'm sorry, but I had my family members give me a review starting off don't get too crazy out of hand but you can have a few people give your business a review just to get you started another way to get more customers is to run social media ads depending on who your customer is is going to determine what is the best platform for you to advertise your business i'm gonna tell you guys you can't do everything that's just a mistake that a lot of people make thinking you can do everything so if you're not good at making ads then pay somebody to do it you can go on fiverr.com you can go on upwork and find someone who can create your ads for a decent price number three pass out flyers you can go out get some flyers designed or you can create it yourself using canva and go and hit the streets you got to get out there. If you want your name out there, you want your business out there, then you got to let people know you're there. So you don't. there's no shame in my game. I went out. I had flyers. I even paid someone to help pass out flyers. You could put them in stores, other people's stores. You can go and leave them on people's cars and just go out in the neighborhood and pass out flyers. You got to get your name out there. You got to do what you got to do. Number four, word of mouth. So make sure that your family and friends tell them about your business once you get a customer ask them to recommend people to you give them a reason to want to tell people about your business so make sure that you are leaving a very good impression on the customers that you do have because word of mouth is very big most of our customers came from word of mouth so if they have such a great experience with shopping with you and you're professional then people are going to talk about it i went to this store and they was so nice and you know things like that word of mouth tell your friends and your family if you run into somebody at the store and you, that you knew from a long time ago talk to them tell them oh yeah i have a business and give them your um your information give them a business card and just make sure you telling people about your business no matter where you're at where you go just bring it find a reason to bring it up even if you're in the elevator small talk oh hi how you doing doing good just working on my business and you know find ways to talk about your business and have other people talk about your business so this is very important people a lot of people don't know about this but facebook groups there's a group on facebook for everything 
So whatever your customer is, whatever your target customer is, make sure you go and add those Facebook groups and talk to people, make, uh, make a digital flyer for your business, share it and tell people, make sure that you just join them groups. My business is one of my businesses is in Shelbyville, Kentucky. So of course I joined a Shelbyville, Kentucky group and I was putting pictures up of the products that I have in inside of that group. So just like I said in the beginning, if once you understand who your target customer is, that's your halfway there so you'll know where to find them but facebook groups is a great way to get your name out there and your business out there there we go guys that's that's it for now i encourage you guys to try all these tips tell me how it goes for you and like i said like comment and subscribe and i'll be making more videos to help everybody with their businesses thank y'all for watching thanks everybody who supported me and you guys come back and check me out again thanks